You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to every single one of y'all who watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. But before we get started, have to say rest in peace to DMX. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. Dog, 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 man, extreme. I know, I know, I know. Things just, it ain't the same no more out here in these streets, you know. Burning in hell, but don't deserve to be. I got niggas that don't even know that want to murder me. But yo, like DMX, I'm gonna just be honest with you. Uh, when you come from where he came from, to make it to being one of the only rappers to ever have two platinum albums in one year, like that's he, that's legendary. I mean, this dude from Yonkers, and um, I'm from the Bronx. I say it all the time. I think I'm the distance from two between where I'm from and where he's from is like about six miles. So you heard about him like coming up before he even hit the scene, before he even got on Money, Power, Respect, before he was on uh, 24 Hours to Live with Mason, all of that. Uh, you knew about DMX, you know, freestyle ciphers, him walking around with them two, with them big ass dogs. Niggas would be running to the other side of the street, like he walk around no shirt on in the hood with a dog on the chain. Everybody knew about DMX, so uh, you know to see how he blew up and transcended hip hop to where he made it to, the levels that he made it to, and his untimely demise, you know what I'm saying? It's uh, definitely a rest in peace. But, uh, yo, gun clip to the gun clip, let's get straight to the dumb shit. Uh, did y'all see ARP's blog about Sirius Jones today? Surgical with it. Listen, there's a couple of things that you probably don't want this year. You don't want to go to jail, you don't want to end up broke, and you don't want an ARP blog directed at you. I told y'all, this man is surgical with it. Like, surgical with it. Like, he, it's, it's, a different, it's, it's a different level of blogging. This man dropped a 48-minute blog, 48-minute blog, all directed at Sirius Jones, breaking this man down in every way that you could possibly be broke down. Now, I will say this. Um, when... The battle was supposed to be booked between him and Big K. A lot of people was asking questions because uh, when, when, when things started to hit the bumpy road and you started hearing rumors and rumblings about him not being able to be booked the battle, whatever the case may have happened, uh, the battle was booked, but for him not being able to make it there, I hit ARP myself and I said, yo, before I jump on camera and speak about shit that's going on, I don't, you know what I'm saying, I'm just trying to keep the people who watch my channel and the fans abreast of is the battle happening, is it not happening, because not a lot of people was talking about it. Uh, ARP's talking about Sirius Jones didn't want to take connecting flight. What, 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 you a diva, my nigga? Like, think you Janet Jackson, my nigga? <laughs> they say you want to take no connecting flight and all this other shit that was going on, but he told me directly that he was trying to get him on a flight. Jones wouldn't book his flight. Uh, it was just a bunch of bullshit involved. And I get it, the whole PO thing, but you gotta kinda know that before you even book the battle because once you sign the contract, and I told y'all in the other blog, ARP been burned by wild rappers before. This is not the first time that he got, you know, got done dirty by an artist. Remember when JC was supposed to battle against Oops and then was like, nope, oop, oh, oh, I'm not doing it. Uh, fucking Sugar was supposed to battle against Pat Stay, he ain't do it. Verb was supposed to battle against motherfucking Iron Solomon. I could just go on all day about niggas clean paper back down on him. So the way he's moving is the way he's supposed to be moving. This ironclad movement, like yo, if you're not in, you out. If you're not booked, you off. Like I'm, I'm fucking around. Like that's the way it's, it's got to be. Because when you be nice to niggas, you get fucked over. And then when you get fucked over. You know, if the main event don't happen or the co-main event don't happen, then you got a hundred blogs saying that you don't know how to run your motherfucking business and niggas is going to be wilding on you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and people are not going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Especially when the car costs $50. The car costs $50. Nigga, <laughs> ARP cannot be playing with Sirius Jones when the car costs $50. Especially when niggas is not even talking about the battle, when the battle got booked. Nobody was even talking about that shit. Nobody even gave a fuck. Like, really, to be more than honest with you, Nobody was even jocking that battle. So for him to carry it like that, when, when, and you know ARP, who has been burned, he carried it respectfully to me. Like he was carrying it respectfully. But then when Jones went out there and started talking crazy about him, and then he pops up on the URL tournament, it's like, damn, dog, you can't, you, you couldn't get your PO to do this, that, and the third to be on the RBE event. But then two weeks later, now you're free to go battle on URL. I don't, I didn't think 
per se that that was the big deal that they made him because Sirius Jones is in a position of where he can battle wherever the fuck he want. He's been doing this shit long enough. The nigga don't have to not battle somewhere. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it, it was kind of crazy. But he ended up in the gun line, in the target line of ARP's blog. ARP was surgical with it. Cut him apart. Like it was, it was, it was bad. I was like, yeah. I was like, when is this shit gonna stop? You know, ARP had screenshots. He had motherfucking messages. He had the shit from Head Ice saying that, yo, Wolf, my dog can't travel. He's having issues traveling. The Wolf having troubles. Then he called you a couch hopper. When you push ARP to that point, when it goes there, it gets there. And when it's up there, it's stuck there. He said the man ain't have a residence. He talked about him living in a hotel. This is crazy. I mean, and did, see, it didn't even have to go here because if the nigga knew he couldn't do the battle, he could have just easily said, yo, you can't do it. This is a situation, boom, boom, boom. Take your deposit back. But that's the thing. Niggas book battles knowing they can't do them. Take a deposit. When they get the deposit, what they do? They spend the money, don't have the money to give back. Now they look crazy. I salute Red Breed Entertainment for what they did and how they handled it because, yo, I would rather have a clone versus Big K than to have no battle at all. Then to have a nigga tell you the week of, yo, I can't do it. Or yo, my PO said no. Or yo, it's not gonna happen. And now I'm looking crazy because he gonna have to stand up and answer those questions. ARP the one that's gotta answer them motherfucking questions. When that shit hit the fan and that nigga start gunning at you, ARP's gonna have to answer those questions. Sirius Jones not even gonna fucking be there to answer those questions. It's gonna be all the ARP shit. Oh, ARP has another event that flops. Oh, the shit didn't go well again. Oh, he gonna have to answer them. You're not even gonna be there to answer them. So that's the reason why he puts you on the deli machine. Zoom, 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 slice you up like turkey and put motherfucking oil and vinegar, uh, lettuce, tomatoes, Swiss cheese, cut you in half, rolled you up, and put you in the deli bag and got you up out of there. He did you kind of dirty, I'm not even gonna hold you. Like he was telling us shit that we didn't even know. See, that's the thing with ARP with these blogs. That nigga started getting surgical. He started telling niggas shit they ain't even know. Like, yo, did you know the nigga got kicked out of gym class because his socks was smelly? Did you know the nigga phone got turned off the other day because my homegirl work at motherfucking Verizon and she pulled up his account. I got his account right here. Why would you? I don't know why your advisors ain't forewarn you. I know you just got out of jail and shit, but you don't want the nigga doing that. Now, guess what? Rum Nitty got mad angles and shit. Now, Rum Nitty got mad angles. You couldn't battle on Rare Breed. Oh, I'm about murder. Couch surfer. Like, he gonna be wilding on you because of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So now you done gave a nigga mad angles and you in the tournament anyway. I said Sirius Jones shouldn't even be in no motherfucking tournament. This nigga was around from the beginning of battle rap. Nigga was around from died on his head, died on his leg, die, die, die. Why is this nigga in the tournament? I said that. You know what I'm saying? But he's in the motherfucker anyway. We gonna see how that shit go. But, I mean, ARP cut you down. He made you look crazy out here. He made it look like, yo, you booked the battle, you took the nigga deposit, and you can't even be there. He did you dirty. ARP got body of the year and it's only April. Who's gonna have a bigger body than this? I don't I don't know if a nigga could get body worse than this. Like the nigga did you for 48 minutes? The nigga gave you the first 48. He gave this nigga <laughs> ARP gave you the first 48. Smoke where's Detective Mason at? Is Detective Mason anywhere around? Cause he gave he gave my nigga Jones. The first 48, the nigga said he didn't know if he was living in Cali, he didn't know if he was living in Jersey, he didn't know if he was living in a hotel, he didn't know if he was living on the couch, my nigga. That shit's kind of crazy. But, salute to Sirius Jones, that shit was wild, it could have ended different than this, and salute to ARP. Because my thing is this, ARP wasn't going for that, not on his biggest card, the nigga got Cassidy on the card. He said, he said, clone the contract, the nigga clone sent that shit back in like five minutes, boom, 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 deposit sent. That nigga clone took your other half. That nigga ate your bread. He the, the sandwich that I was talking about, the ARP sliced up Jones and shit. The nigga clone got the sandwich and shit. And now he's he got you out here looking bad. Now go find that man and don't come back until you find that man. That nigga said he called you a cartoon. Jones is a legend in his own right, but that whole I'm not taking no connecting flights, my nigga, like you're not Janet Jackson, my nigga. <laughs> He's not Janet Jackson, I'm sorry, I. What have you done for me lately? Do, 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 do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
took you not Jada Jackson, my nigga. You could have took the motherfucker. But he told this is shit with ARP in the blog. He said he spoke to this blogger, spoke to that nigga. Fire the fly got on the phone, nigga. I called him because I didn't want to make up or say some shit that it didn't happen. So I called the nigga and said, Yo, before I jump on the camera and blog. Can I get the real story? The nigga gave me his version of the story and the shit didn't sound like it had too many lies in it. Said the nigga was calling you, the nigga said, yo, Jones told the nigga he need 24 more hours. The nigga said, yo, I can't give you 24 more hours because Big K needs seven days to write for whoever he gonna battle. That nigga will battle this pillow right here, but he needs seven days to write for the motherfucking pillow. He said he wouldn't give it to him. Stories can close, closed. Rest in peace, DMX. First 48, my nigga. He gave you 48 minutes of them things. Good luck in the tournament and all that and all that and all that, but dog, y'all want to know what happened? I'm I told you what happened. He got smoked. Gone.